From Connecticut, Mr. Courtney, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, last week, or actually a couple days ago, um, Medicare beneficiaries all across America received very welcome news. For 2023, Medicare announced that the Part B premiums, which again are deducted from seniors' uh, Social Security checks, will actually be reduced by $6 a month. That's the first time in 11 years that the uh, Medicare program has actually cut the premiums that, again, um, erode uh, month by month uh, Social Security checks. Uh, there's a reason for this, which is that last year there was a, a spike in terms of the Part B premiums. It was driven by the fact that a new drug, Adelhelm, was approved just about the same time the actuaries were calculating the Part B premiums. Adelhelm uh, cost, when it was uh, initially approved by FDA, was $58,000 per patient. That one medication uh, re uh, resulted in half of the increase last year in terms of Medicare Part B premiums. Uh, there was a hue and cry about the, um, the cost of that drug after, again, the new premium had kicked in. Uh, they cut the price from $58,000 per patient to $26,000, and Medicare also uh, limited the, the use of that drug in terms of experimental um, uh, controlled settings because, again, it was so brand new. Unfortunately, the premium was, had already uh, uh, been had kicked in, and a number of us uh, were working with the Department of Health and Human Services saying that the uh, premium should be adjusted uh, because, again, it was based on uh, data which had, again, be, again, been overtaken by events. At that point, it was too late for Medicare to readjust the premium from in the last calendar year, 2022, but next year, again, they will make the adjustment and that those premiums will go down. In, a, in about a week or so, uh, the uh, government is going to be announcing the COLA for Social Security for 2023 for seniors, um, again, which uh, is a, obviously a very intensely uh, watched event. Uh, right now, the projection uh, based on, again, on the market basket uh, system that they use to calculate COLAs uh, looks like it's going to be an 8% increase for Social Security for 2023. Um, again, I think it's important to note that in past years, some of those uh, COLA increases have been eroded, as I mentioned earlier, by increases in the Part B premium. But in 2023, the opposite is going to happen. There will actually be um, not only a COLA increase, but a reduction in the premium, and that means more money in the pockets of seniors and people on disability. Uh, again, this is very welcome news. Obviously, inflation has been really tough for a lot of families and particularly uh, seniors on fixed incomes. Uh, but again, in 2023, there is going to be, uh, again, more relief uh, coming their way. It also coincides with the new Inflation Reduction Act, which will be capping the cost of insulin starting in January at $35 a month. Uh, for seniors who are on Medicare today who need insulin, which is, again, a life-or-death drug, uh, insulin uh, has, you know, roughly costs about $160 per month. So again, there will be savings, not only in terms of a new COLA and a reduced Part B premium, but also the cost of insulin will be capped at $35 a month. And in 2024 and in 2025, under the Inflation Reduction Act, because of the savings uh, uh, resulting from price negotiation, which the bill finally uh, enabled and empowered, uh, we are going to see an overall cap of out-of-pocket costs for prescription drugs at $2,000 for seniors through the Part D program. You talk to anybody who has an MS uh, condition or uh, an MS patient in someone's family, the, the mere infusion of a monthly MS, tr MS treatment uh, basically forces most seniors onto Medicaid because it's thousands of dollars uh, per, per treatment. Starting with this new uh, program, their overall cap for a year will be $2,000 for a year. And that's why the Multiple Sclerosis Society endorsed this bill, as did many other patient advocacy groups, because as, as valuable as Medicare was for prescription drugs, the existing system still is way too expensive. With the Inflation Reduction Act, we're going to cap insulin, we're going to cap the overall cost of medications. Unbelievably, just a few days ago, the minority came out with their commitment to America, or for America, where they actually want to repeal the law that 
barely the ink is dry. That is going to, again, provide a ray of hope for seniors to, to pay for the cost of life-saving drugs. We can't let that happen. And again, starting in January, we're going to see the real benefits of that law, as well as, again, welcome news in terms of a higher COLA and a smaller Part B premium. Uh, without a yield back, Mr. Speaker.